Hello everyone and welcome back to Spectacle Island. This is the multiplayer co-op with Nordic Farming and we have reached episode number 23. Last time we were creating our further mega fields over on this island. We ploughed 12, 13 and 14 all into one and also 9, 10 and 11 all into one. Now Nordic and I have the big task today of getting them all planted. We of course scanned and limed them last time so they are fully prepped and good to go. All we need is both planters. Nordic is taking the John Deere, better let him get out first. And I'm in the Massey but we both have the Great Plains planters. So gonna grab this go restock it with liquid fertilizer and seed and then we can get over to the fields to get them all planted it's going to be quite a big job today but I can smell the money already it's going to earn us some mega bucks Nordic and I have discussed what crops we're going to put in so I'll reveal that as we are working our way through let's just grab our seed and fertilizer stocks seeds fertilizer and we should probably get some fuel while we're here the mass is looking a little low right fueled up okay so Nordic and I are heading out for what's going to be a full day of planting and we're going to start with our original first mega field 15, 16 and 17 which is merged into one and we are going to be planting corn that's right we are revisiting corn the last time we planted corn we had a, uh, a bit of a mega harvest of our own on our hands we had field 12 and 15 when they were in their original state as single fields and we had the MB track running in reverse with a forage harvester. We of course bought a forage harvester not that long ago to do the grass mowing. So yeah, we're going to plant corn again in our mega field comprised of field 15, 16 and 17. And uh, yeah, that forage harvester is going to have its work cut out for it. Um, when it comes to harvest time. Yeah, we want to do corn so we can do another uh, forage harvest, maize harvest to chop it up into chaff and put it in our bunker. And we'll probably put it in the bunker at the BGA, which we emptied at the end of last session. So yeah, we're going to hopefully maybe fill that bunker with the uh, quantity that we'd get out of this field here. And let's get in position and start planting. Okay, corn selected. Looks like Nordic is starting on this side this time. And uh, probably going to leave enough space for a headland. Let him uh, kick off get the beast turned on and by beast I mean the Great Plains planter which is one of my favorite choices of planters if I'm honest it uh, does all the crop types those that you would have in a planter and those that you would have in a seed drill it's got a good width it takes uh, liquid fertilizer so you know, it really does the job of many things. It's a planter, it's a seed drill, it's a fertilizer. All in quite a wide machine. So that makes it perfect as a multi-purpose tool. But yep, here we are. We do the old mini map. We'll see that we are fertilizing as we go. We should hopefully have enough seed and fertiliser in the planter to just finish off this field. 
and not need to return back to the farm. And we can see that precision farming is doing its thing, adding the right level of nitrogen for the fertilising. Okay, so yep, Nordic is getting ready to do the next line. Let's move out of his way. We'll have to finish up by doing the headlands. If it were me, I probably would have just carried on doing that first line there, but Nordic is a, uh, a fan and connoisseur of the straight lines. If he's not planting in a straight line, he's not very happy, so we best keep him happy and plant in a straight line, which means I'm probably starting all the way back here. Let's drop. And off we go again. So Nordic and I are going to see to this. And then should hopefully not take us too long. And see you when we made some good progress or when we finish.
So that is the cornfield all planted. That did take a while and we did need to do a trip back to the farm to restock the fertilizer. The fertilizer was what ran out first, seemed to go through that uh, much quicker than the seed. But yeah, we would have needed to top up the seed anyway, so topped up both. I also uh, serviced the planter midway through just to make sure it was a, a you know the best possible servicing so it wasn't going to slow us down at all or uh, run inefficiently yeah we've got that whole field planted with corn so that is going to make for a mega mazy harvest uh, when it's ready probably not next time but the time after now Nordic and I are on to the next mega field doing a dash back to the farm first to restock the seed and the fertilizer now I was doing some thinking whilst uh, we were planting that field we could have bought a tanker that was capable of carrying liquid fertilizer and taken that over to the other island so we had a readily available source of liquid fertilizer and we also could have taken the auger trailer with seed in it to be a uh, readily available source of seed. However, the expense of a tanker and also the fact that we've only got one truck sort of uh, negated that for me. And, you know, the dashes back to the farm are not too long. You know, they take about five minutes um in real time so yeah it's not a huge issue for for nordic and i to have to dash back to the farm for restocking but yeah maybe if we were to you know do more in the future or we had more fields that way more planting to do it would make sense to get a big tanker that could take liquid fertilizer and uh, take our auger wagon which is very cool we used that for lime last time over to the field yep looks like we're uh, all filled up and happy and next we are going over to fields 12 13 and 14 and we are planting canola now we've not done canola for a little while, in fact I don't think we've done it as a crop since we started playing Spectacle Island, it was probably one of the crops we harvested first of all. Yeah, since then we've been all about soybean, barley or oats for the animals. Yep, yeah, canola is just going to be all for the profits and uh, the maize is as well the maize is going to be all for the silage and for putting it in the BGA and that's uh, one thing I forgot to mention actually at the start of the episode um, we had some profits in overnight from filling the BGA last time so I think we did about 160,000 litres and uh, yeah we ended up getting up to where we are now on the funds, 330,000. I think we had a bit more than that. Paid a bit of seed and fertilizer costs today, and also some vehicle maintenance. So, yeah, 330, 300, between 330 and 340,000 pounds is what we got up to after our BGA. Right. Handy little cut through there for our cornfield. And now we are heading on down to the fields that we enlarged last time. We of course scanned and limed them as well. So we've got all the information readily available. And uh, that's going to help us with the precision farming. 
Right, Nordic's just running behind us there, and we're going to switch to Canola. So, let's uh, unfold. We'll start up over here. This is where we started ploughing, so let's start doing this bit. And, uh, yeah, I don't know how Nordic's going to want to play this, but I'm going to sort of hug, hug the edge of the field here. Don't really want to uh, do more turns than necessary, so yeah, we'll start with the the edge, the headland. Not all the way round, but uh, certainly up to the top, and then we should get some areas where we can potentially straighten it out, level it out, make it a little bit easier for ourselves. Right, so canola going in. I think this is just by eyeballing that this is our largest mega field. So we're going to get some great yields of canola from here. Freshly ploughed, scanned and limed, and then planted using the optimal fertilizer. So Nordic and I are going to set about getting this planted. Bit of a uh, theme today, it's all about planting. Hopefully not repetitive. But with great fields comes great planting responsibilities I'm afraid. But once we plant, and it's grown, that's going to equal some fantastic harvesting time. And let's face it, harvesting is the funnest part, for me anyway. So, let's get this done.
Right, so we have finished planting the canola in this second regga field and you'll see that the weather has come in, it's now wet and it's also quarter past five so we're going to be calling it a day. Um, the third mega field unfortunately we didn't get round to planting but uh, yeah we will come to that next time so it is a uh, wet trip back to the farm just to finish up wash up the equipment and uh, tidy a few bits away but we have two fields planted first mega field with corn and the second mega field with canola so next time it will be about getting that third mega field planted up. So we've got three fields to harvest. So that is Nordic and I done for the day. However, one thing to note is that when this video airs, it will be the 26th of December. So Nordic and I are going to place some Christmas decorations just to make this place a little bit more Christmassy. So let's get it decorated. There we go, that's much better. Nordic and I have put out a few Christmas decorations, so it fits the time of year. But a chance to say a happy Christmas and happy holidays to everyone. A big thank you for all of your views, likes and subscribes. As always, if you've got any tips, tricks or things you'd like us to do, then feel free to leave us a comment. But yeah, big Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to you all. Please check out Nordic's channel for his perspective of today's video and hope to see you again next time. Cheers all, catch you later, Merry Christmas. Oh! Oh!